Hello folks, and welcome to Bioshock, or Bioshock Remastered to be more specific. So before we get into this, let me uh, tell you a little bit about my history with Bioshock. Early, early on in, uh, or when I first started YouTube, I did a series on this game, but it was years ago, years ago, no commentary. It was pretty sketchy quality because I was new to all this. And then not terribly long ago, I made a full game, no commentary video of this. And with how much music there is in this game, there was so many copyright claims on it that it was basically blocked in a lot of countries. So I ended up uh, taking that video down. But I absolutely love Bioshock. Ever since the original came out on Xbox 360, I've played them, I've played through all of them. And I really want this game on the channel in a way that it's not blocked. And I really wanted to play through it again anyways, so I figured we'd do this in an episodic way with commentary this time. Hopefully these don't get copyright claim to hell, because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of copyrighted music in these games. But anyways, let's start a new game. And let's just do medium. I'm not a sadist. They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Here we are again. You know, I know this is the remastered version, but for a game that came out in 2007, this game still looks pretty great. One thing I want to mention, I know it's going to probably sound kind of nitpicky or something, that I've actually never noticed before, is during that plane crash sequence you can hear the plane saying, Altitude, pull up, Altitude. In 1960, that didn't exist on aircraft. I really don't think it did. Anyways, just something random I've never noticed before. So here we go. Uh -huh. I love that quote, by the way. I've missed this so much. I love Bioshock so much. Everything about it. But especially the art style. The world design. Been a while since I've been in Rapture. Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I 
rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. With the sweat of your brow, Rapture can become your city as well. This entire intro sequence, it never gets old. One thing I forgot to do real quick um, was turn on the subtitles. Dialogue subtitles. I generally prefer to play without them, but I know they're still not on. But I know some people like subtitles, and it helps some people. Oh, well, it's on. Alright, so we're going to do this chapter by chapter, which is basically different sectors of the city. So this Welcome to Rapture segment will be the first, so on and so forth. Some of them will be long, some will be short. Right then, here we go. I remember the first time I ever saw this scene. Being very unnerved. It hasn't even been that long since I played the first Bioshock. Well, maybe a year or so, but... Oh yeah? Bioshock 1 is kind of like the Dead Space 1 of the Bioshock series, in the sense that it's so much more creepy and atmospheric than the sequels. Nice try. Yeah. Report me, you fuck. Report you? To who? Hi, Daddy. Come on, Turn on 
sure we loot everything that we can. I don't think it's really a, a factor quite yet. Alright. When in rapture, stick mysterious syringes into your arm. Oh, that still makes me wince. I love that. Don't worry, it's just your genetic code being rewritten. <laughs> it's fine. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. safe for a minute. Make sure we get everything we can. Get old Vita Chambers. It's one of the few games I know of that actually, um... One-two punch. Gotcha. Uh, remember the controls? It's been a while. Uh, but I was gonna say, it's one of the few games I know of where the, the mechanic for respawning is actually, like, written into the lore. Like, this and Dark Souls and maybe a few others that I can't think of at the moment. But there's an actual in-world mechanic and reason for respawning these body chambers. Alright. Hello. You're, you're already on fire. I guess I don't need it. Thought I heard someone. Never mind. Why is it today 
and not then when you're warm and sweet. Excuse me. Why can't mommy hold you to her breast and feel your teeth? Oh, no. No, no. You're not very observant. No. no. I don't remember her. Do I have to interrupt her? Baby and me! Baby and me! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I never remembered her not noticing it like that. Plasmids changed everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. Hmm. <laughs> Happy New Year. Uh, and here we go with the music. So regarding what I was talking about with copyrights on this game, there's, there's a lot of copyrighted music. So I'm going to try to do my best to not have any claims on my videos because I don't want them getting blocked worldwide like the original video I had did. So to continue what I was saying, there might be some random muted parts or just some weird cuts. Sorry about that. I'm just, you know, it's one of the biggest hassles with this game in particular. Hey Brenda, you care to tell me why you've had a hole in the wall the size of Plymouth Rock coming out of your crapper dog for three weeks now? Now I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare. I'm trying to run a respectable theater. I got working folk coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch a little diversion. And all I can think about is the stink coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed. All right. Yep, hole in the bathroom wall. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? Do you think that's a child down there? Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam, the genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants it, everybody needs it. Get him! Get him! <laughs> That's the big daddy. She got it on him. He keeps her safe. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the stuff. Press P to save my- what? Alright, we're out in here a little bit. Find all the stuff we possibly can. Oh, I don't want the director's commentary. Uh, going on. No thanks. Alright. Health gained from cake. Don't you disrespect me! Tougher, weren't you? I guess maybe I should go to my pistol, huh? Even though the wrench is super powerful, especially once you upgrade it. You can beat the whole game with a wrench if you want to, more or less. If you spot a splicer in the water, hit him with the electro bolt. Uh-huh. One other thing, um, I figured while well, it's on my mind, I should mention that I don't like about Bioshock is the research camera. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, obviously the perks you get from it and stuff are really useful and it's kind of interesting at first, but um, the research camera gets really old after a while. Security alert in He's... Oh. 
The security drones also are pretty annoying, but once you get the uh, plasmid where you can just sit there and become invisible, it's a lot easier. Oh. Back off. Yeah, I need to remember that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she was in the water. She was also almost dead. Whoops. Oh, got a bathroom. Oh, nothing in here? What? Oh, what am I doing? I meant to hit the water. Ah, now they're not in it anymore. I'm almost dying. to the uh, the end here of this section. Oh Christ! You're trapped! I'm gonna try to override the exit from here. So tell me, friend, which one of the bitches said to you? The KGB wolf or the CIA jackal? Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plumb. And Andrew Ryan isn't a giddy socialite to be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or thus the barrier, the Okay then. Alright. Pass through here. Alright, so that was basically just the intro sequence. It's a little bit shorter there. There's a few really short little chapters. But uh, for the most part, they're longer than that. Okay, so we're gonna stop right here. And um, yeah, next episode we'll do the medical pavilion. So, see you guys next time. Take it easy. Thank you.